and there's two things of bad news the first thing of bad news is that the weather looks like it's gonna rain the second thing is that our truck almost caught fire because the GoPro cable um, kind of bent and it caught fire yeah not almost caught fire so all right everybody we're in Opalaca Florida what an exciting place to be like for me not I don't know about y'all but I'm excited to be here y'all good memories I've been coming to this flea market since I was a little kid my grandma when I had her loved to come here and uh, even though it's raining there's still people coming in you have to pay to go in so I'm not sure exactly how much it is I think it's like two dollars I'm gonna find out make sure you pay <laughs> Doesn't get better than this. Frita Cubana. Oh, yeah, buddy. This guy's like screaming. He's like screaming, You have to buy a churro. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the Opalaca Flea Market, Locksmith, which is in Spanish is Cerrajero. Dude, the rain does not stop this place. It's gonna slow it down a little bit. Compra un Toyota nuevo en Kendall Toyota. Bueno. Del 2014 al 2019 por distribuidores sureste Toyota en la 441 entre Hollywood Boulevard y Sheridan. Hollywood Boulevard. It's raining y'all, but we're still doing this. Let's show you guys what makes this flea market the Holy Grail flea markets. You can get like furniture for like if it's worth like. 800 bucks like you can literally get like furniture here for like half the price we're gonna have to get rain on there's no way around this Bueno. This is on a rainy Saturday, guys. On a weekday, on a day that's not rainy, this will be a whole lot better. The prices here, like underwear, six for ten dollars. Like the prices on the stuff here is like insane. Like those those sofa sets, you can get them like for like like the whole set for like three hundred bucks. So like she killed she kids clothes for five bucks. The prices here are insane. A lot of uh, most of the merchants are either Cuban or Haitians. You can hear some Latin music playing over there. Three for ten. Lots of Asians too. <clears throat> There's a lot of jewelry here. Lots of jewelry. Um, a lot of one of the favorite things that I like about here is if you're into like fake jewelry, um, you can get some like really authentic looking stuff. Um, like. Like I got an Orient watch for like brand new for like half the price. So they've had a lot of issues here with um, knockoff stuff and they get busted every once in a while, but the goodies keep coming back. Um, birds are really, there's a lot of pet shops in here. Lots of pet shops. And in Miami, these birds are like, you can just see birds all over Miami. like. Got uh, lost a little birdie. I wonder if they got pigeons. Oh, they got chickens. Wanna? They got chickens. All types. Oh, they got white dogs. They got pigeons. These are Cuban death powders. They call them buchonas. This is a really popular hobby here in Miami, keeping these pigeons. They um, they're really big on seduction and romance, so people use them. It's kind of like a hobby, white dogs. More pigeons here. We got white dogs, 
And these are just regular homers. They have some big Molenas in the back. Those are called Molenas. Lots of uh, pigeons here. Chickens. I wouldn't personally buy a pigeon from here. I buy my, my pigeons uh, from like pedigrees and stuff, you know. Really high quality stuff. So Amazon. That's loud. Look at this guy. Woohoo. <clears throat> He's pretty. You want your feather back, buddy? No? Beautiful Amazon parrots. You know, five dollars for a woman's t-shirts. The deals here are awesome. I bought these batteries. They're not, they're really crappy. That brand of battery right there. They don't last very long. Go really, we gotta go back the other way. Come this way. It's like two for five on Florida t shirts. I like how they have the prices already listed, and you can sometimes bargain a little, but you shouldn't. Like work shirts, three for 12 bucks. Like, where else are you going to get, like, a bright, you know, like, for working class people? That's awesome, you know? No, dinero no hay pa' cadena. Eso pa' los ricos. Okay, gracias, mi amor, gracias. Gracias. A lot of people, they're, they're really pushy about their sales. And I love it because then they have a good, really good personality about it, you know? It's really fun. Just to watch the people do their sales tricks. Like these sets here, you'll get like awesome deal. Like if you're looking for like a set for your house and you don't want to pay like the city furniture price, it might be the same thing as city furniture, but like half the price. So good memories here, guys. I've been coming here since I was just a little kid. My grandma used to love coming here. And it's big, you can get lost in here. Um, lots of really neat, like what are these 80 bucks for like a really nice like all oh, these got prices on check it out like this set right here is 450 for the set it's not bad 450 for a set that's not bad this is like a leather one like really modern looking my cousin got has this same exact set they're asking 600 bucks it's a real modern nice looking these fold back i know this set because my cousin has it real nice set i mean it looks like a 1400 dollars set and it's really like 600 bucks these um a lot of cuban and haitian people like these because in the caribbean islands you can, people actually make these so you know it's a how oh, these things are all funny bueno There's a little bit of a smell going on around here.
Gopis If you guys noticed that the um, even though it's mostly Cubans here, they're playing Mexican music. A lot of times people ask me like, oh, what do you like identify as or what do you feel like? And honestly, I, I don't even know what I am anymore. I'm lost. I, I, a lot of times people are like, yo, do you feel like you're more Cuban? Do you feel like you're more American? And I, I don't really know. I just am. They got the full size mannequin here. They had a guaparia conmigo. If you want to get your Florida Hawaiian t-shirt game on, this will be the place to do it. Oh, Summer Vibes Miami. Oh, dude, if they're my size, I got all oh, small. They have even large. Imagine me wearing that. Summer Vibes Miami. I wonder if they have them in large. Four for ten bucks. Dude, do they have them in large? Look big. Look at this, yo. Dude, these like legitly look fresh. They don't look like this is extra large. Dude. Extra large, they have to have bigger. Miami Beach, Florida. Extra large, but even for an extra large, doesn't that look kind of big for an extra large? Like, I need a little bit bigger. Because after you wash them, they're going to shrink, you know? You don't think they'll shrink? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty big for extra large. I like them, but... I need a 2X. 2X. You don't have any more? Like, that's it? On these? Well, thanks anyway. All right. All right, thank you. <laughs> Why shirts. Does anybody still wear that? Fishing poles. I want to go fishing later. Yeah, cast nets and everything.
Haha, <laughs> they got the Cuban Domino's table. Cuban Domino's table. That's like, you'd expect that here. I don't know where on earth I parked that. I think towards the front somewhere. Okay, so this is... Oh, something smells good out here, y'all. That's the entrance, so we're parked over there. Okay, cool. Kind of orientate... Oh, something smells so good, guys. I don't know what it is, but it smells delicious. I think it's this place. Look at this. They do, like, a whole pork roast. What flea market has a whole... Dude, whatever those... Oh, the Cuban pizza, yo. That's what smells good. I've got to try it. I'll have Katie come over. And we'll get some Cuban pizza. It's highly safe. Is it safe? I have got to try that Cuban pizza. Are you kidding me? Cuban pizza from a flea market in Opalaka. A lot of times people say it's dangerous in Hialeah. It's scary. It's dangerous, dude. I'm walking around with a GoPro in front of my face. Chill, y'all. Don't be afraid of Miami. Don't be afraid of Hialeah. I mean, I can't speak for the other, for the northwest side of Miami, but this side over here, where like the Cuban side, you're straight, man. If they're Haitian people, you say if they're if they're if they're a guy, you say Papi, hey Papi, and you're straight. If they're if they're a woman, you say Mama, and you say how to hit them real friendly, and you're straight. I'm telling you, that's all you need out here, y'all. It's legitly an awesome place. Do not be afraid of. Th this is like a flea market. Like I'm gonna walk around. A flea market with a GoPro in my hand. It's safe, legit. The door, open up. Cause she's white, so she's afraid. Oh my God, there's Cubans around here. I'm gonna lock the door to feel safe, dude. They have Cuban pizza over there and it smells awesome. Grab my phone and let's go. I bought a t-shirt for $3. Let me see your t-shirt. Um, it's about Nebraska, but <laughs> it was $3. You can get for $10, you can get three of them. Well, that's more expensive. Maybe she just hooked me up. She made me put it in a bag. She's like, you have to put it in a bag so they don't think you stole it. Wow. Three dollars. Are you sure this is gonna fit you? If not, I'll give it to dad. Two X. Two X, but it's she, they swear they don't shrink, so. Mm -hmm. So as a white woman, how do you feel walking around? You better walk a little faster, man. Safe. You're getting rain. Okay, how many Wait. times have we been to this flea market? I don't even know, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Okay, I will tell you this though. If you're white and you look white, come on here. If you are white and you look white, people will offer you stuff for sale that's not up for sale because they think you're trying to like get plugged in. Like legitimately, like I, I came here with my white friend one time and uh. Well, that music. Oh, this is cool. Like, I like the video sun. Ready? Let's roll. All right. I'm going to try to do on this video is I'm going to try to speed up this. Wherever there's music playing in the background, I'm just going to speed it up. Whew. I'm just going to speed it up wherever there's music in the background. And if the audio disappears, then you know I got hit with a copyright strike because there's music playing like everywhere so hopefully that i'm gonna try to leave the music but if it goes blank then you know we hit with a copyright all right y'all so we're gonna get a pizza for sure she's pizza and and then we're gonna get some soda so i'll be like 10 bucks like eight dollars for a pizza or something and like two dollars to drink so you can't spend more than 12 bucks for two people <clears throat> i guess my advice would be look like a tourist don't look ghetto trashy because if you look ghetto trashy they'll offer you stuff you'll you'll have people following you around bothering you so because i brought my friend and uh and he's a white dude he kind of looks hood and we had a lot of like people following us around but if you look like legitly just look normal like look like yourself don't try to look hood if you look hood then people are going to try to like offer you stuff whatever I think I'm yeah just look normal 
don't look hood, basically. Because like, if you look like some trailer, if you look like some trailer trash park looking stuff going on or whatever, then like, obviously people are gonna approach you and try to like make business with you, legitly. So just make sure you look normal, like don't look out of place. It's okay to look like a tourist, I think. Yeah, look like a tourist. Like nobody bothers Katie. But when I came with my wife friend, a lot of people bothered us because it's Miami, like people are trying to like plug you in or whatever. Sometimes they're cops, sometimes it's legit. So either way, just make sure you uh you don't you don't want that you don't want that attention anyways, you know? Yeah, just look normal. Um either way, don't look trashy. Because it could be a cop or it could be somebody really trying to make business. Either way, you don't want that attention. And a lot of times they're cops, so there's like for every like real person trying to make a deal, there's like three cops, so just you don't want that attention. Okay, so this is a Cuban pizza. We got a mame, which is like mame. It's like a Cuban fruit. Gracias. Cuban pizza. Then they're playing Brazilian rock. That's odd. So, this is a Cuban pizza, and you're supposed to fold it like a sandwich. It's like real Miami street food, Cuban pizza. So you're supposed to fold it up like a sandwich, kind of like that. And that's it, I mean, real Miami street food. Dude, it's just bought a bird cage. All right, it's hot, yeah. You gotta use your, oh, nothing about Cuban pizza. You don't eat it with your hands like you would um, a regular pizza. You have to use covers. So if you start eating it with your hands, people will think you're a savage. And this is what? $8, right? $6 plus two plus one. This is like $9 for some Miami street food. All right, guys. So we just had some Cuban pizza here. We just had some Cuban pizza here. Check it out, dude. They got fish. They got pigeons everything out here kids toys so um they have i guess this is like a kid's playground so we're not supposed to be in here i guess i don't know i guess you have to pay to come in here i don't know but anyways guys a few years ago they ran up through here uh the feds ran up through here because um no mommy no tengo dinero no money no money mama I'm parece, I don't work. Oh, okay. I'm parece. Uh, parece. No work, no money. I yeah. <laughs> These are still, they have large sizes. Like I'd buy a bunch of them if they had on my size, but I don't see anything. These are big right here. Miami Beach, what size are these? Oh, 3X, here we go. Miami Beach, five for 10 bucks. Dude, that's like $2 a piece. Okay. So I don't really care, dude. I'm getting, like, because I, I run through, sh I break shirts, I get them dirty, I work through them. So, yeah, if I can get, I'm going to get, like, I'm going to get, like, five of these things. For sure, man. They're big enough? They have enough big ones. Extra large. They ripped off this tag, but it's obviously giant. Miami Beach, Florida. I don't know what size it is, but it's obviously huge. Okay, Sunshine State, these are Miami Beach in the 3X, Miami Beach, Florida, that's three, four with this one, I got, I'll get one more. Uh, not sure what this means, color me red, these are huge man, they're, yeah they're 3X, cool, so we're going to grab five of these for 10 bucks. Can't beat that. Do I have 10 bucks on me? Let's find out. Same deal. Keep rolling. Some professionals right here. Frank, take two. Marker. Five months. One. And action. Yo, man. That's like a whole crew, man. They're filming a real movie out here, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I thought I was the only YouTuber out here, so I got five shirts. I gotta find who runs this then. They got some real movie making on here, y'all. 
Where's the person who runs the stand, y'all? He could like literally run off here. Hola. Voy a agarrar unas camisas allá. Hola. Voy a agarrar uh, de las 5 por 10. Voy a agarrar 5. Ahí está. ¿Tú crees que este me quede bien a mí? <risa> Ahora sí empezó el agua. Estas son las más grandecitas que encontré, sí. que yo tengo un poquito gordo. Sí, esas son las más grandes. Esas son las más grandes. ¿No tiene más nada de mi tamaño? Eh, el otro, vamos a ver. Ok. They filming a legit movie out here, y'all. They got like real crews out here. I thought I was the only person doing filming out here, but apparently it's a happening place. Hay que ver la, viste la gente con las cámaras de verdad. Sí. Yo estoy haciendo solo para YouTube, pero ellos son profesionales. Sí. Ok. The feds ran in here because on the other side we're gonna go to now, they have vegetables, right? And um, somebody. This is um, a typical Cuban style dress, all white for male. It's called like a guayabera. If it had the pockets, it'd be called a guayabera. But um, yeah, the feds ran up. Oh, look at all these shoes, y'all. I can't spend that kind of money today, though. But uh, the feds ran up in here because they, on the food side, you used to be able to pay with food stamps. And what they were doing was Lots of uh, nice dresses. Look at these guys. Woohoo! Look at all these pretty dresses, guys. Lots of nice woman stuff. Beautiful. There are some nicer stuff. It's not all like trashy, you know, hood stuff. It's. I go that way. Oh well. We're in this. Fresh farmer's market. I gotta get over there without getting rained on. <laughs> The feds ran up in here because you used to be able to come here with a food stamp card and trade your food stamps for cash at an exchange rate of like 20 to 80. So let's say you bought, technically you would buy $100 of groceries, you would get $80 cash back, but the groceries were never actually bought. So instead of selling groceries, they're actually, it was actually like, the feds ran up in here and shut it all down. I think 22 vendors in an undercover operation were shut down because they were doing that. So. Um, ever since that kind of left to here, that kind of like some of the criminal element left, I think today uh, Cubans have kind of taken. It used to be more Haitians. Now uh, it's a lot more Cubans. Coconuts. Classic of Miami is a cold coconut. We'll slice it up for you with a machete. Like that. Hola. Todo bien, todo bien. ¿Cuánto vale un coco frío? 
Want to want a cocoa frio? For two dollars. So for two dollars, you can get a cold coconut, and they'll you know put a straw in it for you and everything. Um, if you've never had a coconut, it's really refreshing. They got pineapple, papaya, puppy. All the good Haitian stuff. They got a lot of good stuff here. All the beans, cornmeal, herbs, and a few household stuff like like your laundry detergent. You can get it for a really good price. Giant packs of laundry detergent. So. Papi. All of the good cinnamon, peanuts, um, ginger. This is uh, raw cod, which is fish that's been salted. In Spanish, you call it bacalao. Um, it's really popular in Haitian cuisine, so raw cod. I don't personally like it. Little baggies of corn, beans, all the beans you want. Good stuff. Hey, mama. Good beans. And mangoes. I can't believe they actually have mangoes. I love mangoes. Good mangoes. So that's the vegetable side. And we got to get way back over there. We got some real heavy rain. So let's roll up out of here. Back in the day, most of the vendors used to be Haitian. Now there's a lot more Cuban vendors. Maybe a few Central Americans and uh, a lot of Asians also vendors here, so it changed a lot. It used to be only, um, not only, but it used to be a lot more Haitian vendors. Seems like there's a lot less Haitian vendors nowadays. Back to the uh, fruits, just a little bit of everything, lots of carrots, bananas, just a little bit of everything, you know. This time of year, you're not going to find, if you come here in the summer, you'll see a lot of good stuff in the summer. But this time of year, it's really hard. It's really hard this time of year. Um, it's, it's really hard this time of year because uh, there's nothing. There's no local fruit. There's no local mango. It's the winter, so it's not the time of year where you find all the goodies. So um, Beans, red beans, black beans. So this time of year, you don't see too many, uh, too much good stuff. Excuse me. Thank you. Pineapple that's already been sliced. That's good. You don't got to do the work. Mangoes. They're probably from uh, South America. Ooh, tamarind. Look at that, guys. They got tamarind. But if you come here in the, in the summer, the pickings are a lot better in the summer. Oh, you always see what? Thank you. Go ahead, aguacero. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, we're gonna have to run through some of this stuff here. Woohoo! So as you can see, guys, this is like the flea market, which is Opalaka flea market. Everybody's friendly. Everybody's chill. You get really good prices on a lot of stuff. You get really good prices, so I really recommend it. Um, a lot of times people have this. Fear that Hialeah, look, Hialeah's murder rate is like the lowest murder rate of any city its size in the United States, 0 0.5. In fact, I'd be tempted to say that you would have to go to Europe to find a city with a lower murder rate than Hialeah in the United States, a city its size. If you are show here, everybody's friendly. The Cuban and Haitian people are real friendly. And there are, you know, there are spots where a little bit more, you know, purposely like people go there. You know, they're cr more criminally minded places in this area. Like I avoid Northwest Miami at night, for example, but Hialeah, do not be afraid, guys. This is the flea market. I mean, so we're walking, around, we're walking around with a freaking GoPro in our hands and alleyways and stuff, and it's all legit. So don't be afraid of Hialeah. Experience it. The whole city, there's no bad parts. The whole place is nice, Hialeah. And run up to Opalaka Flea Market. It's really neat, interesting place. 
and that's about as far north as I would go though when it comes to um, in this area so that is what it is guys strongly recommend it awesome area don't be afraid to check it out let's see if we can get back over into the into the other side churros the rain stopped a little bit so let's take advantage of the rain stopped a little to find our way back and you got maize and corn cold coconuts it's kind of a theme here of what the type of things going on churros this is a little food truck selling churros here boots work boots so yeah guys don't be afraid to experience uh, these places man Little shickies. Little shickies. Oh, he's got something. Oh, uh, look at him. <laughs> They're gonna fight for that. He's gonna have to fight for that little piece of meat. There he goes. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. They gotta fight for that. crap so yeah guys do not be afraid of uh of experiencing hialeah and like i said this is a flea market which is in opalaka actually it's not in hialeah but hey i think it's called the opalaka hialeah flea market so it's like between both cities um opalaka is a little bit rougher not gonna lie opalaka has some rough spots but like i said they've pretty much cleaned this place up there used to be a bunch of kind of like really advanced rackets going on where but that's all gone and you can feel it if it doesn't feel as tense in here as it used to feel it feels very chill so we're parked over here i get so angry on the internet everybody like and only that like it's a general consensus that people think hialeah is a bad place um i gabriel iglesias no not gabriel iglesias um fluffy I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Gabriel Iglesias. I don't know. It's a fat comedian. He makes a lot of jokes uh, about the places he travels to. And he actually made some jokes about Hialeah, referring to how dangerous and scary it is. And he's Hispanic. But it looks... I'm not going to lie. It looks hood. But just because a place looks hood doesn't mean that it's dangerous. Doesn't mean that the people are bad. I'm not going to lie to you. This is about as hood as it looks. It looks hood. It feels hood. And it is hood. But that does not mean it's dangerous does not mean you should avoid it and we're gonna drive through Hialeah now in the daytime most of my nighttime videos are in Hialeah and if you're wondering why it's because I come to Miami I'm gonna spend the whole day over here it's about a two-hour drive so when I come to Miami I'm pretty much gonna spend the whole day over here I'm not just gonna come over here for like a little short ride so all my nighttime stuff I do it in Hialeah because it's safer and it feels better, you know? So um, that's why all my nighttime videos are in Hialeah. So today I wanna make a daytime video in Hialeah. I do a lot of nighttime in Hialeah because I feel safe there at night and safer than uh, the Northwest Miami for sure. I tell you that much. Northwest Miami in the daytime has scary spots, but Guys, I have gotten rained on. <laughs> I am soaked head to toes. It's like, it's useless. I've been trying to hide underneath these tents and just try to dodge the rain. At this point, it's pointless. We're getting rained on. I'm not going to let a rainy day stop me from enjoying uh, myself here. So we're going to do the best we can. And this is what I like about this. Dude. I just got for like $13 or $14, I got like 12 t-shirts. They weren't the prize pick of the litter, you know, but... Dude, they're they're good. They're a good brand. You know, they're just regular T-shirts to go to work in or to do stuff around the yard in. You know, where did I park? I could have sworn I parked around here. Oh, there it is. So, I definitely recommend that you come out here, guys. Enjoy Hialeah. Enjoy the Opelika Flea Market, and don't be afraid because it's hood. Experience the real Florida. Don't be afraid. 
and I know I have rich friends. You know, they have like I have friends that drive Bentleys, and you know they come to when they travel, they're afraid to they're afraid to do stuff. 